Hey y'all, welcome to episode 2 of my 7 Days to Die uh, series. And I'll tell you guys what, this, uh, this episode has been a pain to make. So, here's what's going on. Unlike Minecraft, for some reason, uh, I, I'm not able to turn the sound down on my game low enough so that when I do commentary, uh, you can hear me. So when I do commentary during the game, uh, my commentary gets drowned out by the game sounds. So I tried turning down the game sounds. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work. <laughs> Especially the zombies. The zombies are still really, really loud. On the flip side, I decided, all right, I'm going to go try and see if I can maybe turn up my mic so that my mic catches more. Here's the problem. The mic that I use, unfortunately, doesn't uh, doesn't sync very well with my computer. So what happens is I cannot turn up the mic. It can't uh, do a sound boost or anything like that. So what I'm left with is having to do what I'm doing now, which is I recorded the gameplay, and now I'm doing a voiceover commentary. So I'm doing the commentary after I have recorded the gameplay video. Now this is kind of a new thing for me. Uh, in the past, all of my videos, especially Minecraft videos, I've always just recorded during the gameplay. Uh, so this will be a new experience, and uh, I'd really love to get your feedback. So please let me know in the comments if you like it, if you don't like it, if you have any suggestions for what I can do to uh, get my work, mic to work better. Now just so you know, I am using the PlayStation 3 headset microphone. So it's the headset and the microphone together. That's what I'm using to do my commentary. So here in episode two, I uh, just kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing here. So uh, just hung out in that attic overnight and decided that I'm going to go try and find some better weapons. Now this game right here is the one that I'm using for my for my series, but I also have been just playing on my own for fun. Now when I've been playing on my, on my own. I uh, found out that over west of that little town that I was in, there is a set of apartments. And in those apartments, I found some sweet guns. And then I found sniper rifle and bullets. I found uh, tons of machine gun stuff for that uh, submachine gun. I found um, a rocket launcher and some rockets. So I was like, that is so sweet. I'm going to go do that for my... Uh, for my series video. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm slowly making my way uh, towards the uh, the apartments. Now it was a, a good bit of a walk. It was probably like a four or five minute walk. It was, <laughs> it was quite a ways. I, I guess in the game it's probably you know a good know, a mile or so. So uh, in just a moment you're going to see we're actually going to jump from uh, this a little walkway to those apartments. I didn't want you guys to have to sit there and just watch me walk forever. So here we are coming up on these apartments. Of course a bunch of zombies outside. So this is actually not the apartments that I was headed to. These are kind of apartments along the way uh, that I found that I figured, hey, if I found some sweet stuff in apartments before, I'm sure I could find some more sweet stuff in these apartments. So take out these two zombies. Okay, by the way, crazy. When those zombies like get inside or when they get in the dark, they look nuts. They are hard to shoot. So, along with uh, finding sweet guns, I also thought, hey, you know, I need to set up some bases so that I have some places to leave some of my equipment so I don't have to carry it all with me and some places that I can respawn in case I do die. So my thought is, when I get to the uh, set of apartments that I was going after, um, I would like to uh, make one of them into a base. Then, at some point, I'm also going to make one of those houses over by, over in that little town that I was in, uh, into a base, and then probably someplace down south a little ways, uh, kind of out in the desert, probably choose a building out there, or maybe even build my own. Uh, and so what I want to do is uh, fortify a couple buildings, have some bases set up, and then I can get working on like my master base. So since we're still in day two right now, uh, the most important thing for me is, is gathering equipment, uh, especially weapons, and making sure that I have enough weapons and ammo for, uh, you know, killing all the zombies, doing all the things that I want to do, da 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 So, 
I was just running around getting a bunch of uh, equipment. Now you'll notice that uh, I, I've got a couple extra shotguns, a couple extra pistols there, and then I've got a bunch of ammo for, for the four different types of guns that we have. So you have the pistol, the shotgun, the submachine gun, and the, um, the sniper rifle. So I also like to keep a couple extra of the guns themselves whenever I can. So you notice right there, I didn't take that extra pistol because I've got three. So I've got one of my two belts and three extra ones. The reason I carry extra ones in my inventory, in my backpack per se, is because when uh, when you die, and sometimes I die by surprise, I don't even see it coming, but when you die, you lose everything in your tool belt when you respawn, but you get to keep everything in your inventory. So I like to have a couple extra guns with me so that if I do die, I immediately have some weapons. And you'll notice that I do the same thing with ammo. I like to keep my ammo stock in my belt uh, fairly low. You know, I try not to go over... It looks like I think I have ten sets of shotgun shells. I try not to go over five, uh, just because if I lose it, I hate losing it. Uh, right here, this is pretty funny. So I could not figure out why I couldn't get up these stupid steps. Look at this, I, I can't, I'm like pushing forward and I can't get up. And then I realized, is that lamp in my way? Blam! Sure enough, lamp was in my way. Get out of my way, lamp. I am on a mission to find some more weapons. So, uh, so that's why you'll see me picking up ammo and not, not the guns. Uh, what, I, what I'll probably do is when I do find or do create my first base, I'll uh, leave some of my weapons behind, some of my equipment that I don't need immediately, but that I want to keep. And uh, then I'll probably continue to go out, look for, and stockpile weapons. And make sure I have some at every location, plus some in my backpack, plus whatever I need immediately on my belt. Um, so right here, this this little room, you know, where I'm, where I'm at right now, in the, in the desk, in this drawer, set of drawers, that is like the sweet spot that I found for, for most of the weapons that I found. I think I found the rocket launcher and the sniper rifle there. So every time I get to one of those rooms in one of these apartments, I'm like giddy with excitement. I'm like, ah, I'm going to get the sweet stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, so far, that hasn't happened, but that's okay. These aren't the ones, these aren't the apartments that I had originally uh, wanted to go to. So this is kind of just to stop, pick up a bunch of stuff, and move on. So uh, you'll notice that in my, in my inventory, I've got uh, you know a few things that I didn't have last episode. Um, so I made, uh, during the night I got a little bored while I was waiting to record, so I made an axe so that I could chop down some trees, although uh, while I was out uh, running around I tried to use the axe to chop down the tree and it didn't work, so I went back to using the shotgun, because that's the most effective. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> wow, got something in my throat today. Anyway, uh, and then you'll also see that I've got uh, some torches, so I figured out how to make torches. Basically, you just take a regular stick and a piece of cloth and put those together and it makes a torch. Uh, torches are really nice. I'm planning on whatever bases I have, just decking the inside out with torches. And I don't know how torches affect zombies. I'm hoping that uh, when zombies get close to torches and the light shines on them, that they go kind of sloggy again. Sloggy, sloshy sluggy, whatever the word is in there. Basically when they just shuffle around, right? Because at nighttime they come running after you, but if there's enough light, then they'll just shuffle around. That'd be really nice. So I don't really know how that affects them. I haven't really tried that yet. If you know, please uh, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. Uh, but I do uh, want to make those, and, and if for no other reason than to have light when I'm doing, uh, when I'm putting this on YouTube is really nice so that you can see what's happening. Uh, new place that it's dark. So just collecting some ammo here. So while I'm while I'm just uh, doing some looting and doing some collecting, making my way over to those uh, apartments, I want to talk about something that actually has nothing to do with Seven Days to Die, but it's incredibly important right now. And that is, why would anybody decide to choose Ben Affleck as the new Batman? Come on, people. Here's the thing. As soon as that was announced, Twitter, everybody online just blew up forums, and Twitter, and all the you know, movie news sites and everything just exploded with the news, right? And, uh, oh, right there, I think I tried to cut that up, but uh, didn't quite do it. <laughs> anyway.
so it just exploded with the news. And uh, I've, I've been thinking about it the last couple of days. That, you know, I thought, hey, don't just rush to judgment. I want to really think about this and, and consider whether or not I think it's a good idea. So, <coughs> try to think about it. And here's my thought. It is an absolutely terrible idea. Here's why. Ben Affleck is a really good actor. I think he's much better now than he used to be. I think since he became a director, he has stepped up his own game of acting. I think he does a good job. The problem is, I don't think, I still think he's not superhero material. So he does a fantastic job in movies like Argo and the Town, you know, dramas that kind of have an emotional kick. You know, he's kind of quiet, kind of reserved, and I like that. You know, he, he plays really well in those characters. The problem is, I just, I don't see him as a good super, superhero. And unlike most people, we already have an idea of how he acts as a superhero, how good of an actor he is as a superhero. He was Daredevil, and he was terrible. Now granted, some people will say, yeah, but that was the old him, and this is the new him. That's fine. I, you know, I've even heard other people say, look, when it first came out that Heath Ledger was going to be Joker, everybody was just like dumbfounded. Like, what the heck? Why? You know, what, what good will he do? But he was amazing. That's great. I think that's wonderful. But here's the thing. Heath Ledger wasn't Daredevil. <laughs> I don't know how many times I need to say that, but here's the thing. We have seen how Ben Affleck is Ben, ben Affleck is as a superhero, and I don't like it. Now the, the what also gets, you know, is kind of a bummer about it is the fact that I think there's probably others that could do a better job. Uh, from what I understand that somebody had kind of compiled a list of who they thought would be the best uh, choices for the Batman in uh, the new Superman. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, Batman will appear in the next Superman film. So it's not another Batman reboot. It's Batman will appear in the next uh, Man of Steel. So somebody came up with a list of potentials. Whoever was on the short list of actors to become the uh, next, to become Batman in, in the next uh, Man of Steel. And uh, there were a few names on there that I thought were pretty good. There were some other names that I was you know, wasn't really sure about that would have been way better than Ben Affleck. In fact, I would have loved to see Ryan Gosling try to do that. Now, you may not agree with me, but but I, I think he is a really good actor. And I think that he has the right persona, that he would do a fantastic job as Batman. Just saying. Oh, by the way, so check this out. There's a deer up on top of that apartment. I don't know if you saw that. But as I was coming into town, so these are the apartments that I wanted to get to. These are the ones I wanted to loot. So I'm like super excited. These, this is where I found the sweet guns in these apartments. <coughs> I hope this cop goes away. My throat, my throat, because of this guy. So I saw that uh, that deer on top of this, this apartment. I thought, man, I gotta go up and get that thing. I wonder if he's still up there. If he's like gonna jump off or something. So uh, slowly making my way up. Um, and. Uh, I yeah, might as well just loot while I'm up here. Okay, so this, remember, this is my special room. This is where I always find the sweet stuff. So I did find another submachine gun. I didn't grab it because I think I already have two of them. But, uh, you know, maybe on the roof I'll find the stuff. But we'll definitely, hopefully, find a deer. And there he is! How a deer got up here, I don't know. And how a shotgun in a single shot can push a deer that probably weighs a good 800 pounds, push it back across the roof on its hooves, 15 feet from one shot. I mean, if that shotgun was that powerful, I mean, it's physics. If it was that powerful going forward, it would be shooting back into my shoulder with the same strength. <coughs> and it's so, just throw me off the edge. Oh, really? This is not good. It's not good having to do commentary when, you're, when your throat isn't working properly. <clears throat> probably, you know what it probably is? Probably the fact that I have spent most of my morning <laughs> trying to get this video to work. In fact, I even did a 25-minute commentary before, and it was like really nasty and scratchy and didn't work. So 
So I have to get rid of it because it's not good enough for you guys. Dang it. So hopefully this is better. I did a little practice running that sounded good, so I'm really hoping that this sounds okay. And if not, I'm probably just gonna post it anyway. Gotta love it when the zombies are just hiding out inside. <clears throat> just take them out. <laughs> so those are my thoughts. I you know. Give me some feedback. What do you think about Ben Affleck being super or being Batman? You know, what, what do you think? Is there somebody else that you would have preferred? How do you think he's going to do? I, I'm curious to see how this plays out. So, moving on again to another topic. Uh, kind of back to Seven Days to Die. And that's that I've been, you know, as I've been playing, as I've been playing through this, you know, series, and as I've been playing on my own, I've been thinking about things that I'm really hoping they put into this game. Now, as soon as you log on, it tells you, you know, Features coming in Alpha 2. And some of the features are going to make the game, I think, a little bit more challenging. Uh, for instance, you're going to have flying creatures and climbing zombies. So, all of us that have been making our bases um, in a fashion that, uh, that, you know, we're basically trying to get as high up as possible, going up. Uh, going up ladders and things because zombies can't climb ladders. Those of us who have been creating our our uh, bases this way are gonna find a huge challenge when uh, and I get like totally ambushed by two nurse zombies here. We're gonna be you know, it's it's gonna be a surprise when uh, the uh, these zombies can climb and the other creatures can fly. So I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what? If they're going to put that in, if they're going to put in flying creatures and climbing zombies and, you know, tougher, tougher opponents, uh, I guess, then I'm really hoping that they have some form of, like, body on their head. So, okay, so as I'm watching this, I realize I only hit the apartments on one side of the street. So, as, you, as you've seen so far in, like, all the rooms that I've looked, and all the places I haven't found the guns and the weapons that are really that I came here for. No sniper rifle, no rocket launch. So I do think that my last hope is going to be maybe those two apartment buildings across the way will have something. Um, so I'll have to go check. So sorry, this gets really dark right here. Um, I, I've kind of found that as I play, this is actually that my screen it actually looks lighter than it comes out on on uh, YouTube. So I apologize if this is really dark. Uh, luckily I do uh, put together some torches so that I can light the area up downstairs. Make it a little bit nicer. Um, a little bit easier to see. And then I also make some more of those uh, reinforced steel blocks so that uh, I can guard myself. Those are, those are pretty strong against zombies. Uh, in my first episode you saw that I just put up a bunch of uh, wood blocks uh, in front of my door but the problem is the zombies actually get through those fairly quickly. Uh, so it's it's not as good of defense as I would like. What what I'm hoping for is to be at a point where I can say, you know, I can go to any room and then I can actually start digging down and doing some mining while it's nighttime uh, so that uh, I have something to do while the zombies are trying to break in, but being confident that they're not just going to break in. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. <laughs> when the time comes. Um, the kind of fun thing about this game is that there's there's still a lot of learning. Um, you'll notice that there, there are still some quirks, uh, still some things that they're kind of figuring out. It is alpha, so uh, you know the graphics, the glitches, the, the bugs are still going to be there. Um, and so just uh, be, be aware that you know, if you see a, a glitch or something when you're playing or when somebody else is playing, it's okay. They're working on getting those things fixed. So right now you can see I'm, I'm trying to light up the area. And that's, uh, like I said, to help you guys to be able to see, but also, uh, you know, against zombies. So I'm not, you know, I'm not sure, as I mentioned, how the, uh, the torches affect zombies. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> one day when they break into my house um, you know another feature that I would really like in this game so right now you have the torches but what would be really cool is if 
you could make some kind of floodlight. And right? if you could put together a floodlight so that that you could put outside, that you could put inside, that you could put anywhere you need it, so that when zombies come and they get in the light, they start to shuffle around like they do in the daytime. I can't even get up that ladder. <laughs> but that would be really nice, you know, because that would mean that we could essentially, uh, you know, build, build light enough around our, our bases that we don't have to worry about zombies. Now, you know, granted, may, you know, I think maybe something that would make it nice is if, you know, hey, the, the zombies can break the uh, the lights if they get close enough to them and they hit them. Something like that, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I, I figure if they're going to be... <laughs> touch that rabbit. It's funny, I chased the rabbit across the, across the roof and then he goes up the edge. <laughs> Goodbye, rabbit. Rabbit suicide. So... Anyway, I'm, you know, so, so as I was mentioning, I, I hope that they have some something like that that will allow us to to see in the dark better, to protect ourselves against zombies. So if they're going to make zombies stronger, if they're going to make crazier zombies, they've got to give us a way to protect against them. So like right here, you notice I jump up and I look down and there's like a whole horde of zombies trying to break in. I realize, hey, they're going to break into my wall if I don't uh, reinforce that, you know, under the stairs. So... Coming down here, uh, get what I need out of these boxes, knock them all down, and then uh, put up some more of that uh, metal framing to, uh, to protect myself. So this will be my first base, as I mentioned. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll make some, some chests to put on the roof that I can leave a few of my uh, weapons and items. Uh, that I don't need immediately that I can come back to. Look at that crack in the wall. The zombies are already working their way in. They work fast. So yeah, so I'm hoping to, you know, so if I can leave some stuff here, then, you know, in the next episode I can really just go out and start looking for stuff, maybe start on the second base, um, get to those other two apartments, and oh, I'm hoping, just hoping there's a sniper rifle and a rocket launcher. That would be epic. So, along with the things that I'm hoping for uh, in the next, uh, you know, in the next upgrade or update of this game, is it would be really nice if things respawn. Uh, so far from what I've seen, if I've gone to a car and I've looted it, then if I die or if I go away, you know, whatever, when I come back to that car, it's uh, it's still empty. So. From what I've seen, potentially, you could loot. I mean, you could pretty much loot everything. You could, you could be done looting. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if uh, they're planning to do anything with that, or if that's just going to be the case. And you know, maybe, maybe the cars don't re restock, but maybe other things do. Um, but I'm, I am hoping that there is some form of respawn items in these things because otherwise, you know, when I get to probably, you know, day 20 or 30, I will have looted all the food and looted all the water and looted all the weapons and so from there, everything is going to need to be crafted. Now granted, you know, I don't mind crafting things, but, you know, I, what happens when I run out of scrap metal? <laughs> Where else do I get metal? Or what happens if I, uh, you know, if I run out of, you know, I, I can mine for things and I can make food and I can fill up uh, water bottles. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that there's some form of re respawn of the items. But I guess we'll see. That's just uh, hopes and dreams of my own for this game. And, uh, you know, since I'm not making it, I'm not the one that gets to decide. So one thing I really like about these bars is you can see through them now. You can't shoot through them. Okay, you can't, uh, like I can see those zombies, but if I was to shoot, it would just hit the block space right in front of me. Where these things are, you, you can't shoot through the holes, which stinks. But, uh, I do like them because you can, I mean, they're really tough, they're really strong, hard for zombies to break down. Uh, but they're really good at, uh, still giving you a chance to see what's out and about around. So, now that I've pretty much got the first floor all 
you know, ready and reinforced. Um, need to reinforce these windows out here. And uh, <coughs> the next step will be finding a way to get in and out of my uh, in and out of my base here without zombies getting in. So one of the ways that I've seen other people do other, <laughs> other people do that, which I think would be really effective, is basically dig a hole down into the ground, uh, go outwards outside the walls of my base, and then go up and then use ladders go up and down. Uh, the nice thing about that is that zombies cannot go up ladders so they wouldn't be able to get into my base. The downside is if zombies get down into that hole, then potentially they could just knock out all the ground around where you come up to get in and they could just climb up you know, one block at a time by knocking that down. So I gotta try and find a way to do all that without uh, making it easy for zombies to get in, but easy enough for me to get in and out when I need to, and to feel safe when I'm in to go do crafting or mining or whatever it is that I, I want to do on uh, on the, the throwaways and bottles <laughs> and trash can. So, um, anyway, so I, you know, I guess we'll see what comes in the next episode, uh, in the next uh, next update you know what things we get and what uh, what ways that I can defend myself and defend my bases and make sure everything is ready to go so anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed episode two um, please uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, please share with your friends I really appreciate that Oh, that bunny's back. You will get him. Mm -hmm. Got him. <laughs> Got some rabbit meat. And uh, if you guys have any questions, I know I'm still learning this game, but if you guys have any questions for me about the game, please hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to find answers for you. And if you have any requests for this or for my Minecraft series, I'll make sure that I put the link to that to my Minecraft Part 4 series in the, in the description. If you have any questions, requests, or suggestions please uh comment and let me know i really appreciate it uh this is byu boston this has been episode two and i appreciate you guys uh watching my uh watching my show my series here thanks so much and i will see you in the next episode peace